Wow. And the spring came out. <laughs> I'm Pete Bennett, and you're watching Big Bennett TV. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to use the Easy Seal exhaust clamp to fix a hole in the exhaust. I'm going to show you what this entails. Wow, I got this huge box here, and this is all that's in it. Wow. So anyways, what I guess this does is it wraps around, bolts up, seals the exhaust. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Now this car actually I picked up when I traded my red one that you saw in the other video to a friend for it and some cash. So I'm going to start this up and um, well, you can hear what the exhaust sounds like right now. what we classify as a as a really bad exhaust break so well oh, PJ you left that out yeah no well we're gonna put it in put it in what in the car you can't litter Why? littering is bad for the environment save the turtles so anyways I'm gonna jack up the vehicle pull the wheel off and find out where the six leak is coming from I think I got a really good idea. so now we have jacked up the car and I found that um, after inspecting this a little more, there's no shock on this car at all. So it's moving freely. But on another note, we found the broken exhaust. It's right here. You can see pretty much where the exhaust is broken from right here to right there. So I'm gonna have to probably uh, cut this piece right here and we'll bolt it off. So I got this here. We're gonna have to cut a little bit of the exhaust so that when we uh, bandage it, it'll be cut flush. Because right here is where the edge is, and uh... I pretty much can't uh... Ow. That hurts my hand. So guys, I'm gonna get Trish to uh... to cut it. Alright. Where? So pretty much just cut yeah. Here? Yeah, right there. Well, no, 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 no. Try and cut oh. uh, close. To, yeah, right there. Right here. Yeah. I need safety glasses. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. So as soon as this gets cut, well, uh, I'll, I'll meet you guys back. So I was cutting this, and it hooked up, and it just ripped it off. So we ended up getting it off easier than expected. But. That being said, need a new blade. So now, let's get this part on there. I'm gonna move this. There you go. Now you need your screws, you have them? Well, it's not even working. Oh. Uh. Honestly, I don't really recommend you guys buying one of these tools. It's, this is absolutely junk. This is good for absolutely nothing. Alright guys, so now we have it pushed together. We're gonna... Uh... Oh my gosh. I need a deep... Uh... So I'm gonna go get that. Just so you guys know, your tire's not supposed to do this. What? I was just telling the viewers that their tire's not supposed to be doing this. Yeah. Good thing I'm changing the exhaust because now I can take a look at the uh, the rear spring that just plopped out. All right, so now I'm gonna uh, tighten this all up and is this, is that, ex is, is that all good, Trish? Well, no, it's not on anymore. Can you anymore. push the pipe down here a bit? Like that? Yeah, keep pushing it. Okay, now just leave it pushed. Ready? Yep. 
it still push? I'm pushing it. Okay, just push it. I'm pushing it. Keep pushing. I am. So now I'm taking my favorite hammer and I'm gonna hit this off. Oh, great. Now I knocked so we ended off. up getting a 15 millimeter. I mean, it fits in there sloppy, but at least I'll be able to get the uh, socket off. So I guess I just gotta use the old 15 millimeters. All right, I got a new alternative because- for Throw somebody, that piece of shit thing out? No, it's not gonna, For some, I got a special alternative. One, this is my favorite stuff right here. I use this on all my exhausts. It's a tin foil tape. I'm gonna tape it together to hold the exhaust together. That way I can slip the clamp over and uh, it should have a goody goods then. Also, if you like these kind of repairs, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's a little red square in that corner where you can subscribe or you can just hit the subscribe on my homepage. Hit that bell notification too so you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. And now, let's put on that tape. Can you push it in, Trish? Well, I don't want to get my jacket dirty again. Okay, is that good? Yep. Okay. So now I'm just putting this over it. I mean, this alone is not going to fix leaks, guys. Now that's starting to look pretty dang on good now, guys. This tinfoil tape is like the tape you can put on like your heater. Uh, also good for uh, any kind of duct work, anything like that. It's like a tinfoil, tinfoil lubricant. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get another piece of metal or something I can find to use as a shim to shim that. So I got, I made these. These are like some old shims out of a piece of uh, aluminum plate. So I'm going to put this in and hopefully It'll take up a little bit of that slack on the diameter. We'll be able to have a nice, good exhaust. Now you always gotta make sure that you're careful when you're working with this stuff because it's uh, it's it's pieces of metal, right? So it can it can cut you. I mean, we don't know if it will or not, but it can. Now I'm gonna put the nuts on and see uh see how well it works now. And guys, it's not it's not the prettiest work. Well, let's see how it sounds. All right, before I start this up, leave in the comments below. Pause the video. Leave in the comments below. Do you think it's going to be quiet, or do you think it's still going to be leaking? All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. Well, you can see how far this is. Oh my gosh, the door is like a foot width from falling on the ground. So this is the moment of the truth. We're gonna see if that exhaust actually worked or not. Here we go. Turning off the fan. Turning off the one speaker that works. Here we go. Sounds terrible. I'm not happy at that at all. What 
you're hearing is, one sec, let me show everybody. What you guys are hearing actually is this. Somebody put a uh, straight pipe on it, all the way from here to there. So that's why it sounds bad, but we fixed the exhaust leak. Now, we're gonna have to do something about this. And I don't mean that, I mean that. That's where our shock goes. We need to put a shock in this. Let's, uh, let's get a shock. So, I just put the spring back in, and now, ugh, now I'm gonna get a shock. So I got this from the junkyard. It's got the K on it. And uh, this should just bolt right up. So you guys are getting like some bonus footage here, like two for one bonus footage. Just look at that. Would you just look at it? What? Just look at it. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just putting this, uh, bolting the shock on and then we're gonna be putting these nuts in the little, the little thing on. All right, so pretty much just get it as close as you can. Run your impact down on it. Mm. Woo. Now, let's uh, take it up top and uh, get it up on top. Yeah, we're making pretty quick work of the shock install. So the only thing that we need to do now, so we're gonna put it through not this hole, but this hole and uh, mount it. So I'm gonna slowly let it down, and uh, once it's letting it down, whoa! I'm gonna try and get this in the hole. There. Do you want me to hold it while you're I letting? I think it should work. Okay. Let's see. Right? Are you watching? Yep. All right. Perfect. All right, let's come inside. Let's get our our double our double washers, and by double washers I mean double nuts and this little rubber thing. So now it's right here. On top of that, we're gonna put this on so that it sits good. Put the washer. And then this nutty buddy. Now I'm gonna run that down with my impact. I hope it's a 14 millimeter. Cause it's a, if it's a 14 millimeter, it's gonna make my day really nice. You see that? Mm -hmm. It fits in there perfect. So we come here and now we're gonna put it on. You seeing this? Yep. We need to get a deep one now. So we got the deep one now. So now we can just run it down all the way. Don't go, don't go crazy with it because uh, if you do, you could break this thread for the shock you'll be looking for a new one. So now we just run this one down just a light way. Like that. It's like a... Oops. There. And that's how you install that. So there you have it guys. I, I showed you how to put a shock on. I showed you how to fix your exhaust. Still sounds loud, but we know that's because of the straight pipe and it doesn't have a muffler on. But that does work. I showed you the paper. It wasn't moving, no exhaust leaks. Now, I'm gonna show you this. This is gonna be a vote. I got this broken hubcap here. I, I reached out to Justin at Complex Union and uh, he runs hubcaps 365 days a year when he's not running his his one piece wheels and he showed me the best way to get this hubcap on if you guys want to see it leave it down in the comments below if there's more yeses than no's one week from now i'll show you a video of putting this hubcap that's broken on this wheel see you guys in the next one Peace.